Okay, what is going on everybody? It is Tristan here and today in this video what I got going on for you guys is we're going to get into discussing the Ama Manier airship since I actually do have one of the 2300 pairs right here. Some of my members uh, or not my members are members since shout out Drew. Me and Drew made that little group together in the description. If y'all want to go check it out, follow it. We had some members hit on the very exclusive pairs of these. I actually dropped an in-store method that I use for Ama Manier drops and uh, I ended up hidden. Same with a couple other people that use that method. So again, it's a uh, just one example of things we have in the cook group getting rare pairs like this and helping people make profit since this is easily several times the monthly fee that we have back but that's all i need to say subscribe and like for more we'll make the like goal simple let's try and hit 300 on this video that'd mean a lot to me uh you know i would say like let's try and hit the like goal of the number of the shoe i got but that probably would be a little bit unrealistic so i hope you guys will enjoy let's just kind of get started check out everything down below and if you even want to join the cook group you know get a little better at reselling learn the basics things like that Check it out down below. I'll leave the link there. Restock coming in September. Let's go. So getting into the basics, of course, we got this black and royal blue box, which is kind of the theme right here. You can see I did end up getting a size 10 and a half. Here is the box. Now, one thing about the Armand Manier airships that I want to say is that I believe more colorways of this sneaker are coming in the future, uh, collaborating with Armand Manier. I believe I just messed up the name super hard. I'm sorry. I'm tired this morning. Just please give me a pass. Do not go for it in the comment sections. I don't care really. But aside from that, what I was going to say, I believe that there will be more Ama Manier and Nike Airship collaborations. I think we will see more colorways down the line. I think if I'm right, I could be wrong, but LeBron James said something about there being more uh, airships on the way. I could be wrong. Again, I feel like he would actually have a little bit of knowledge if that was the case, since, you know, he, he would have, you know, those connects. He would be able to know uh, that in advance. And I'm sure they would send him pairs early without a question, but let's just kind of get into reviewing the sneakers since I've showed you the box, all the basic details. So right here we do have the Armamanier airship and I will show you which, uh, which numbered pair I have so you guys can see there you go. Here's the tag and all that. I will show you this in detail. So we have the tag right here, Nike Air and Armamanier. You can see kind of their signature and all that is Stan, which I think is pretty cool. Or not Stan. I don't know why I said Stan, but it's right there under the Nike Air logo. And of course, to show you all which numbered pair I got, you actually have to go right here to under the tongue. And you can see when you go under the tongue right here, I'm going to show you all this so under the tongue. And then you can see which pair you got, what number it is. And you can see out of 2300, I got 1458. I thought that was pretty cool. And then of course, there you go. There's a little just tag on the back, typical stuff. But there you go. Pair number 1458 for anybody curious out of 2300. That is which one I got. So you guys can know. I know a lot of people were asking me about it yesterday. And shout out to everyone in my comment section that pointed out. Just glad to see that this one is numbered like they said. I just couldn't find it. I didn't really look hard enough to be honest though. I'll, I'll keep it real. But aside from that, kind of those white and royal blue, excuse me, but kind of those white and royal blue colorway that we got going on right here you can see it overall looks pretty clean there's a lot of people that are feeling the sneaker but then there's a lot of people that are like man this is not it i was one of those people at first that was like this is kind of ugly i don't understand why people rock with it but when you see it in hand it definitely is a lot nicer it overall looks a little bit easier to wear just like a better sneaker and here's of course a nike air symbol in the back this is on the back of both uh of the airships you can just see that typical logo right there kind of vintage style is what i believe they're going with and there's just kind of the back of the sneaker all the details right there all white toe box right there with white laces they also have royal blue laces that you can use do not forget so if you want to use those on the airships you can depending on whether you're wearing or selling the sneaker uh, i got a size 10.5 i don't think i could fit into this i could try but it probably would not work i'm usually like a nine and a half to ten so this would be it, it would be probably a little loose on the foot we i'm not exactly sure but m most likely that's my guess so Aside from that, that's what the airships pretty much look like. Of course, you got the all blue sole as well on the sneaker. Cannot forget that. That is super clean and crispy right there, especially on an all white sneaker. Uh, well, not on an all white sneaker, but a sneaker with a little bit of blue on it. I feel like matching it with the blue sole, the swoosh, just kind of with this. You, you see what I'm saying? It, it, it matches and kind of goes together nicely along with the heel. I think it goes well with the heel, of course, since they are the same color blue. And overall, that's what we got going on in the airship right here. Very basic stuff. The, the, the tongue tag, all that, very similar to, you know, normal jordan ones and jordan sneakers nothing nothing too crazy i mean this is this is a pretty normal tag you know where i'm on here would put their signature underneath the nike logo like that's nothing nothing really too insane so yeah that's it a lot of basic details yeah, showed you all which pair was numbered, 1458. And there is one more thing I actually do want to show you guys. I want to show you all the other pair, but I want to show you all this right here too, since this came with it. This is a little book. Uh, of course, it has Nike's address on the back, Bowerman Drive, of course. Shout out uh, Bill Bowerman, of course. I believe that was his name. I could be wrong. I, I used to be really into like track and all that, so I knew like all the Nike people. But again, I 
could be wrong on that. Shout out, no. But uh, yeah, basically got the address right there, Bowman Drive. And then actually it's a Nike airship kind of book. It explains how the airship was made, like the materials on it, things like that. And, uh, you know, of course, airship PE. There you go. You can kind of see that right there up in the corner. And let me show you all what's kind of all inside this book right here. So again, it shows you uh, what the model is, gives like a basic explanation of what the airship PE is. And then here's another page, of course, kind of explaining like the materials on the sole, how that was made, how it was used. Again, just a lot of details, a lot of small written stuff. You can see kind of like a drawing and sketch that they did and then of course some uh, discussion about the material by the heel things like that that's just another page right there and then of course a couple other ones just explaining you know the sneaker model in general you can see that's a pretty big written up uh, drawing i assume this is probably some of the original sketches they had maybe for uh, the amamani or, or not amamani or airship but for the airship model in general i could be wrong on that and yeah that's the last page you just have a few pages really generally explaining the shoe what it is uh and how it was made which i think is pretty cool so i'm gonna put that back and then again of course here is the other sneaker again both of them are the exact same i believe this one is actually numbered as well yeah both the pairs are numbered so you can see again on this pair right here there you go under the tag 1458 out of 2300 so shout out i'm on my ear for letting me you know hit on this limited edition first airship collaboration that they've done i assume we will see more colorways and i'm on my ear collaborations with airships in the future i could be wrong but Again, that's kind of my theory, my thoughts. Probably will be uh, not as limited as these ones since this is kind of like the first one they did. So, uh, of course, you know, it's going to be a little bit uh, rarer, you know, a little bit. Um, it just, just, I feel like they probably did this just kind of as like, you know, it's the first one. Why don't we make it a little bit rarer? And then, you know, the next ones we won't make uh, as rare. Just kind of give the original one, the OG one, some value. You know what I mean? To people who really wanted it, things like that. And uh, I really wanted this pair and I'm glad to get it. 1458 out of 2300 so that's all that needs to be said again if you want more content like this feel free to subscribe and like down below check out my cook group down below i said the like goal was 300 so if you could hit that that'd be dope and again check that all out in the description we had a lot of people that we helped out you know with recent drops and things like that we do daily steals i mean we drop yeah like i drop under market pairs and under market deals every day like that's one of my main features in the group is giving people steals every day and i do that with a ton of items you can ask anybody in the chat it's kind of my main thing so that's it I'm Tristan. Check me out down below. And uh, yeah, I'll be there. So subscribe, like. I already said, I, I, I'm pretty sure I already said that. And I said the like was 300, but yeah, whatever. I mean, I'm getting caught up and jumbled over my words. It happens. Thumbnail shot right here. All right, but yeah, that's it. I don't need a, any more thumbnail shots. I'm going to put these back in the box and we'll be done with the video. So I'm Tristan. Thank you guys. And hopefully, I will catch you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>